Hi, welcome to Globe with Shelly. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do this gorgeous green eyeshadow look, green and gold. It's perfect for St. Patrick's Day or just for an evening out. It's really fun. It's kind of loud and I think you'll like it. So stay tuned and I will show you how to do this look from start to finish. Remember, this channel is all about glowing up, transformative skincare, flawless makeup, and a lifestyle to match. If that resonates with you, hit subscribe. Don't forget to ring the notification bell. I want you to know when I post future videos. Hi, I'm back with a clean slate. I've applied my eyeshadow primer potion. I use the Urban Decay primer potion. I'm gonna put the link in the description box for you. But today we are going to be doing a green and gold eyeshadow look. I think this will be super fun for St. Patrick's Day, for just going out at night. It's a gorgeous look and I think you'll really like it. And today I'm going to be using the Man Eater Full Palette by Tarte. So this is the big Man Eater palette. This is the After Dark one. And it was released last year toward the end of the year. So this is a fairly new palette. You could certainly use any green eyeshadow that you like and gold. So uh, you could use an olive green. I wanted to go for more of a St. Patrick's Day look. So I'm gonna use a kind of an emerald green and I might deepen it with a little bit of brown. So we'll just kind of see what happens, play around with it and get a good look going. Okay, so we're gonna go in with a fluffy brush. So we're going to uh, start with this color right here called Temptress. And we're gonna just go ahead and put a little bit of that on the crease of our lid with kind of a fluffy brush. This just gives a nice transition from one color to the next. And these kind of taupey browns, they go really well with green. We're gonna go ahead and go in with that color Desire, and that is that yellow color right there. We're gonna put a little bit of that right there in the crease and a little bit on the lid. So we're just gonna kinda cover that lid with that color and get it into that crease. So we have a nice like yellow kind of color that's gonna go, that's gonna complement that gold really well. Okay, now that we have that on, we are going to choose another brush. For this, I'm gonna take like a flat tongue-shaped brush and I'm gonna go in with that color Fantasy. That is that green, green color. And we are going to pick up a little bit, tap off the excess, and we're going to go in starting at the corner of the eye. And just build up that color in a V at the corner of my eye. I'm just going to pack that in right there on the corner. And then I'm going to take that flat fluffy brush that had um, Temptress on it and I'm gonna swirl it around, get some of that green on and I'm just going to go in with a bigger brush and just kind of get into that crease with that green. And for this look, we're gonna go into the front of the eye because we're gonna create kind of a halo effect. So remember to just tap off the excess. We're gonna go in with that kind of tongue shaped brush again and we're going to really pack that color on in the front as well. And so we have that green all over the lid and then we're just going to kind of clean it up and blend it into the brow bone and kind of leave it like that. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, so we have that green kind of all over. And now we're gonna take kind of a fluffy brush with no color on it. And we're gonna put a little bit more in that temptress. We're just gonna tap it. And then we're gonna go in and blend at the brow bone. Kind of blending it out a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna take that color Heartbreaker, that really gold, gold color, kind of gold foil, and we are going to press that into the center of the lid. We're gonna kind of blend it into that green. You don't want <clears throat> it to be all over the lid and you want it to kind of blend into the green. So I'm going back in with a fluffy brush with no color on it and I'm just blending it into the green that's kind of surrounding it. You can always put more on it if that's what you want. Just getting it right there on the center of that lid. And now that I have that on the totally on the center of the lid, I'm going back in with kind of this fluffy, pointy, angled brush. And I'm taking some more of that green fantasy and I'm just swirling it around, getting some on the tip, tapping it off, and then I'm going in and blending out any gold, like the harsh lines in the gold. Just kind of blending the gold into like the center where I want it to be. And as you can see, it just kind of blends the gold in to the center of that lid eyeshadow. And that's a lot of green, obviously. We're gonna take a flat tongue shaped brush. We're gonna take some of that Emerald City, I mean, I'm um, sorry, Fantasy. We're gonna just like line the lower waterline with it. We want to kind of connect it. We put the um, green on the water on the lower lash line, and so now we're going to take that same brush and we're going to dip it into the Heartbreaker, that gold. We're going to tap on off the excess, and we're just going to put it in the center, like right there at the front of our eye, to give it this like kind of dramatic effect. And when your lashes go on, this will look really good. Okay, so let's clean it up a bit before we go ahead and finish the look and put some lashes on. So I'm going in with my Tarte Ultra Creamy um, Concealer and I'm going to just kind of go along the line of where the green is. I don't want to get it where my contouring is, so I'm just kind of going up along that line. And I'm just trying to like clean up create a lift, like a V-shaped lift, and then just clean up any harshness, and then I'll blend it back out into the rest of, first we wanna just kinda clean it up. And I do this, I have hooded eyes, and maybe it's the technique I'm using, but I just really like to do this. It gives my eye lift. It makes it look like the eyeshadow's not too much. Um, I really just like kind of cleaning it up around and then blending it, but you can do it whatever way you want. Um, so I just wipe this off with a towel, get all that concealer off, get all the eyeshadow off. And then I go back in and I kind of blend it in together. So now I'm gonna go back in. I'm just gonna blend out any lines I might have in that concealer. And once that dries down, you'll be able to really manipulate the eyeshadow more. Okay, so now that that's kind of, um, we've drawn a little line around it, now we are going to take our fluffy brush again. We're gonna take another fluffy brush, kind of a a uh, bigger fluffy brush and we're going to put it in that temptress that kind of um i don't know like a taupe taupey color we're going to brush it off and we're just going to blend out that green and this is like my preferred method of blending eyeshadow I just think that it works so much better. This brush is way too big. I'm so sorry. Sometimes it's a matter of changing your brushes. So I obviously need a smaller brush. I'm gonna go in with my MOTD. I am not having brush luck today, guys. I am so sorry. I'm just gonna blend that taupe into the green and just kind of spread it out. And we'll do the same on the other side. Blending the taupe into the green on the brow bone kind of just diffusing the color up and out. I often 
like just kind of sweep it. And so as you can see, some of the green has worn off. So we're going to go back in with a little green to sharpen it up. And I'm using another, I'm gonna use kind of my like angled brush here. Um, and I'm picking up some more of that fantasy and I'm just reapplying it right there on the edges where it's worn off from blending. And then I'm going to take that, that MOTD brush again, and I'm just going to kind of flick and blend it out. And I didn't put any other, any additional color on this. I'm just going to kind of blend it up and out. And I want to smoke this out just a tad more. And because I want to smoke it out just a tad more, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my kind of, it's like a, it's made for uh, smoking your eyes. It's like a smoky eye detailer. And I'm just going to take a little bit of green and kind of smoke the edges out. Okay, so let me go put on my lashes and I will show you the finished look of this beautiful green and gold kind of St. Patrick's Day eyeshadow. So I have returned and I've put on my little flick lashes. These are cheap little Amazon lashes and I have set my face with setting powder and I put on a lip gloss. Uh, the lip gloss I'm wearing today is MAC Cosmetics High Gloss Nude. You really, this is a great lip gloss. I've had it for a while. I'll link everything in the description box so that you can um, check that out. But as you can see, this is the beautiful eyeshadow look green and gold with the Man Eater After Dark palette. So I hope you like this and put a comment in the comment box. Let me know if there's an eyeshadow look that you'd like me to do for you or if there is a particular palette that you're interested in. I love doing eyeshadow tutorials so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you next time on Globe with Shelly.